If you're looking to make high quality videos on your iPhone or your iPad for free, then iMovie is a great choice. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use iMovie transitions to smoothly transition between one clip and another. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live. Today, if you like tutorials and tips and tricks all about audio and video creation on your mobile device, then consider subscribing. But for now, let's jump into iMovie and get started with transitions. So here we are in iMovie on my iPhone. Now the exact same processes work on the iPad. And if you wanna learn how I made this video with my logo, with our lower third here, and with the background music using the new features, check the video out above. But in this one, we're looking at transitions. So to look at transitions, we need to add a second video clip. So we're gonna tap the big plus button here on the left, and now we can actually add in a clip. So let's just add in this little clip here of me showing my new mobile video rig and hit the plus button. This is gonna throw this clip down into our time Timeline. And what you'll notice here is that in between these two clips, we have this transition and it's going to use this dissolve transition by default. So let's just hit play and take a look at what this will look like before we do any changes. Studio Live today. So there you go, it just does that nice little fade, little dissolve between the two pieces of footage. Now, you might have noticed here that it has brought this piece of footage in without audio. It's, it's muted, it's got a little mute symbol there. If we wanna update and change that, we just tap down the bottom here, the volume, and we can turn the volume up there. That's only because we have background audio in this one, and we'll cover audio in a future video. But for now, let's dive in and take a look at how we can change and use these transitions more effectively. So iMovie adds a transition by default, as you can see, but if you want to use a jump cut or to have no transition, all we need to do is tap on the transition there. And here's all of our options. The first one here, which is none, is no transition at all. So if we tap on none, you'll see here that now when we scroll through, it goes directly from one to the other. Let's just hit play live today. It copies, it just goes straight across from this one to this one with no transition in between. Let's tap on that again and go through the different options we have. So number one here is our theme option. So if we tap on that one, what you'll notice here is that it does a fade out and a fade back in. Now this one will actually be dependent upon which theme you've selected for your video. So themes are accessible in the bottom right. If we tap on settings here, we can come in here and we can actually choose. Along the top here, we've got all of our different themes. So we can scroll through and at the moment, we're using this theme at the end here. If we wanted to go back to say this theme, we can just tap and any one of these will have a different transition. Let's go with one that we know has something a bit funky. We'll go with the neon theme. If we hit done on that one. So now what theme it's going to, what a transition it will do is it's a very funky neon transition. Let's uh, take a look at this one live today. <laughs> And we've even got some sound effects in that theme. So if you want to uh, add a little bit of color and flair to your movies, you can maybe use the theme-based transition. But let's jump in now and show you the rest of these. So if we tap on the transition there, the dissolve here is that original one I showed you that it was on by default. So it just dissolves nicely phased between the two. If we tap again, we can use slide. So slide does something slightly different. So let's hit play on this one. Video live today. So this one will slide across between this one and this one. Oh, by the way, you might have noticed that the background music, as soon as you have a clip with no audio, becomes foreground music. That's a very clever feature of iMovie here, is that if you've got no audio on your main track, the music sort of comes up. It's called ducking, and it does automatic ducking, which is very, very cool. Uh, the next one we have along here is the wipe. So if we tap on wipe, we can actually use a wipe transition. So if we play this again, see you soon over on Studio Live today. So instead of it sliding, it actually wipes over the original video. So that one's a very cool effect to use sometimes. And again, the thing with transitions is don't use a lot of them all the time. Don't vary them up too much. You want your videos to look professional, but they can add a little bit of flair when you need it. Now, the last one here is fade. So if we tap on fade, let's come in here. We'll hit play and see what this one looks like today. So that is the same one we saw on that original theme where you're fading, you fade out to black and then you fade back up from black. So as opposed to the dissolve where it goes between the two, this one can look quite nice for scene transitions where you really wanna have that, here's the end of scene one, here's the start of scene two. So that is the transitions there. There's a few more options though with transitions, which we'll jump into now. 
Now, those of you with a keen eye will have noticed that when you tap on the transition here and when we tapped on things like the slide and the wipe, there are these four little blue dots down the bottom here. And what they represent is which direction those transitions will be coming from. So you can see there's an arrow here that it's coming in from the left. Every time we tap that again, it changes to the right, to the bottom, and to the top. So let's now show you this with it sliding in from the top over on Studio Live today. There you go, you can see that it actually slides in from the top and we can actually adjust that here by tapping this and adjusting with these four different options that we have and we have the same on the wipe here. So that's an additional feature that can vary up your transitions here in iMovie. One final thing that we have here is that for our timed transitions, so ones that actually take an amount of time here, we actually have the amount of time we want that transition to be over here on the left between 0.5 seconds up to 2.0 seconds. So let's just increase the length of this. Let's just go one second and take a look at what this transition looks like now over on Studio Live today. So you can see you can get a much slower transition. So you don't have complete control, but you can change that up from 0.5, 1, 1.5, 1.5, 2, and 2. And using some of that variety can actually help your videos. Try not to use too many transitions. You don't want to have a bunch of different transitions that are going to be distracting. Your transitions should actually complement your movie and make it look professional. If you use transitions too much, you can end up having things like this in the middle of your movie. Over on Studio Live today which might work for some particular types of movies, but not necessarily for a movie like this one. So there you go. Transitions, very simple, very effective, a great way to move between your clips here in iMovie. If you want to learn more about iMovie, there's two videos linked right down below right now. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, and I'll see you on the next one.